everybody, welcome to Bita's Kitchen. Today we're gonna cook Persian rice. This is something that everybody's been asking me about. Please, please make a tutorial about Persian rice, specifically the one person who's been harassing me about it. So I just thought I'm gonna make the video and just get it over with. Oh, hi. Oh my God, yeah, it was her. <laughs> I am Bita Milanian. Welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, I see you're wearing your own face on your apron. So, I can't make rice because oh. I literally make the worst Persian rice. I make She's it a, in a pot of actually pass. a really good cook. I've seen yeah. her stuff. You know, yeah. I am a pretty good cook. Yeah, she but I've been in job having a pizza, so I we shifted. We shifted. Now, the top questions I always get get asked here um, on Pizza's kitchen profile and everywhere else is what kind of rice do you use? Well, I've been using Royal for many years. No, I'm not getting any sort of endorsement deals from Royal. I just love this rice. I also use Royal rice and I ruin it every single time. So. Okay, perfect rice today, I promise. <laughs> and then you wanted to make two different tadis, right? Yes, yes. So I make this one tadi with just Persian yogurt and saffron and a little bit of oil, uh, grapeseed oil. And we're also gonna make potato tadi, which is my favorite and I ruin and burn every time. We have these tiny little pots that are perfect for making two to three cups of rice. They're easy, quick. You can buy this pot at every Persian market, especially here in LA, they have them. It's a brand called Alpine Cuisine. They're very inexpensive. And um, so yeah, I recommend this pot. <laughs> We're gonna make four cups of rice, two cups in each of our pots. So please do four cups. And then we're gonna wash it thoroughly with warm to hot water. So start with warm water and then yes. switch to cold water. People think they have to let their rice sit in water. I never have to do it with oil. I literally wash, rinse, and I put it to get boiled. So it's one of the easiest uh, types of basmati rice that I can, I cook with and I've never had an issue with it. I've tried other rice, trust me, mm -hmm. and somehow I actually have a whole huge bag in my pantry and it just gets very mushy and mm -hmm. it never comes out right. So Royal has been good to me, especially this red one, so I'm sticking with it. Wash your rice thoroughly. We're gonna make two pots today. So let's split our four cups into two and then we're gonna pour cold water with some salt and let it boil. So that's your two cups there, and then you can just put the rest of it into the other pot. There we go. So with cello, polo ki dam mikonim is different than making kate polo. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can put more water. You don't have to be like, cautious about how much water because basically we're just gonna boil this rice mm -hmm. to become al dente together with salt, and then we're gonna rinse it. Whereas with kate, you gotta have the proportion right so you don't put too much right, water. Right, right. So yeah. You did a great job, Tarajun. Yeah, <laughs> Bita. Bita and Manji. I'm Manji. Water is clear. Great. We're gonna move this to the stove top and add some salt before we let it boil. So, I love using sea salt. You know, and even in Iran, we use. Um, <laughs> we put it on high. Perfect. You can put some more here. Perfect. Because these sea salts, they're, they're, they're little rocks. To Iran, I used to use it as a So they're much healthier, you know, they're Himalayan sea salts. So just a little bit of salt in these rock form go a long way. It will okay. save yourself. So um, we're just going to basically put it on really high heat. And yeah. then we're going to give it a little... This is how you hold your veggies. You're gonna do it like this. You're gonna hold it like this, so you don't cut your fingers off. Ah. There you go. Perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Because if you do it the other way, you have, you you have the opportunity to cut your fingers off. Do you know I almost cut one of my fingers off? Once? Can't no. This in Iranian cooking and kitchens where they take the vegetable and they start cutting it this way. It's like disaster waiting to happen. Not only for yourself cutting your fingers, but also, you know, somebody could be walking by or what have you. So it's, accidental it's, murder. Exactly. And then you may or may not get off. We don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Dance water. Yeah. 
So it's important when we're cutting vegetables or even herbs, we put our finger this way. It's so important to keep an eye on your rice. First of all, you don't want it to overflow because you don't want it to be cleaning your stove top. You want to eliminate that part because it can easily overflow. Yeah. And also, we're almost getting there. We want to taste our rice quickly. Um, I mean, not taste it, but... Mm. So we're almost there. You don't want it to be too hard and you don't want it to be too mushy. So just al dente, okay. just like your pasta. That, that seems al dente, am I mm -hmm. wrong? This one is actually doing good. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I want to mention that's going to play a huge role when we make our taggy is that each of these flames on our stovetop, everybody has to get to know their stovetop. Yeah. Because each of them have different strengths. For example, this one, because it's already ready, you can tell, has a much stronger um, you know, intensity than this stove right, yeah. So when you're making your tag heat, you kind of need to know which one is which, because even if on the lowest level of heat of this one versus this one could make a difference. Right. The other trick, uh -huh. knowing when you're ready to rinse your rice, is that when you get this little bubble here. Mm. So it's ready. Let's go ahead and rinse it. Let's rinse it. You're gonna get a nice facial as you <laughs> rinse it. Oh yeah. I shine push the tam and she mad too fish it. Bad. Uh-huh. So all the side with cold water, we're gonna rinse it. There we go. Looks ready too. Let's go rinse it. Oh yeah, it really does have that bubble in the middle. It's Dam our branch. 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 <laughs> Let's do our potato tie first okay. because that one takes a little bit longer. Okay. And then we do our um, yogurt tie. Okay. Okay. So okay. We use some grapeseed oil, which okay. is much better than canola oil. I mean, I mean, every so often. What we about could... olive oil? I do olive oil or avocado oil. You could do that. All avocado oil is better than olive oil because it has high tolerance for heat. Yeah. But somehow grapeseed oil works it's better, and it's still not too bad for you compared okay. to canola and some other oils. Okay. A tablespoon of, just eyeball it. Like that? A little, little bit more because we're gonna fry our um, potatoes. Like you could do a little bit more because this one is for potatoes. So sure. let's make sure you get it coated nicely and that's good, okay? okay? And turn on your stove top on like medium high. It's the other one. <laughs> you put your oil in, just okay. put like a little bit of saffron at the bottom there. Like that much? Mm hmm. And a little bit of a juice. There, perfect. Okay. okay. Alright, so now start with your thicker pieces in the middle okay. and the thinner pieces, pieces all the way uh, oh, This guy's pretty thick. Ah, it's too thin. A little bit of salt. And I, oh. like, and I like to do it with hand. Mm -hmm. Get that. All right, that's your bottom. Okay. So we're just gonna leave it on high because we wanna get the um, potatoes fried somewhat and okay. crispy. And on then, that side. Right, and then we're gonna lower the heat. So okay. let's go ahead and layer the rice on top of this okay. with this baby. Oh. And when you're layering your rice, you wanna create like a mountain. Okay. The rice is gonna kind of, so start always in the center and your rice is gonna oh. kind of like fall down on its own. Okay. And then you wait for about a minute or so. Okay. And you lower your heat. You to the lowest. Here. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Want to get a nice clean cloth, oh. or if you don't have a nice cloth that fits your lid, we can get also a paper towel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, come porche this. Paper porche. اینجوری قشنگ این 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 روش می بندیم اگه دوست داشته باشی من میخوام اینطوری خوشگلش کنه and then as you can see you also getting some evaporation already that's when you know you starting to cook your rice so it's damning you're damning your rice damn it jam wait for about 45 minutes on this because we want to get a nice crispy potato patty the longer the merrier, as long as it's on low. 
So for yogurt, I love using Obali yogurt, the original. You can you know use the one that you like the most, but for me, Obali yogurt is it. We're gonna put one large spoon of the al dente rice. And then we're gonna put some saffron. The more the merrier, but that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Go for it. And now mix it all together to become like a nice paste to cover the bottom of your pot. We're gonna have the heat on high while we're doing this. Now start pouring your rice over it. Okay. Like the little mountain we talked about. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, that's a good trick to start in the middle. It's basically one teaspoon of grapeseed oil, lots of water with a pinch of saffron. So we have the heat on high. Thank you. That's easy. So fun. <laughs> Perfect. And then the final step. It's so nice to be Gita's assistant. I love it. I know. I love my new job as Gita. This manager loves it. <laughs> and I already made your book chair. Thank Here you. Leave it on high heat for about two minutes. And then we're just going to check on it. Once we start seeing the you know, evaporation of the water and the steam coming out, and that's when we know it's starting to kind of, it's getting hot enough. So we just then lower the heat on super low. Again, we wait about 45 minutes, ideally. Um, if you're in a rush, you can cheat and you can increase the heat. But if you want a perfect golden even tag heat, 45 minutes to 60 minutes on low heat is ideal. It's very important throughout the process, one of the tricks is for you to turn your pot around because sometimes even you know, when your flame is even, sometimes the, the, the heat is not distributed evenly. This is a trick actually my late mother-in-law, Mama Ju, taught me. Keep an eye on your rice and then also keep turning like every five, 10 minutes so that you get like a nice, even kind of heat. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, ready. And I like that, I'm going to miss the real funny. Ready for Taddy? Yes. I am <laughs> so extra proud of you, Tara. Vita. Okay, Vita, sorry. <laughs> Manage it. Already kind of turned off the stove. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. Does that look dry to you? Not at all. You want to eat it? it? There you go. So, one of the tricks to make sure that you're ready to flip your Taddy mm -hmm. is you take your pot mm -hmm. and you kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not stuck. So you want to do the honors? Yeah. Okay, so take your platter and grab the babies. Okay. And kind of create like a, create your center. Yeah. Like you do yep. in your Pilates. Yeah. Like your core, your center. Yeah, I got and it. And let's go over there and flip it, baby. Here? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, oh you yeah. gotta do it faster. Oh, I'm sorry. Future reference. Head off, Chanda. Yeah. Zut, Now I'm taking over, and what we're gonna do, Kai, can we call you? We're gonna do a little bit of a shaky make. We're gonna do a little bit خیلی بعد تند این کار رو خب اشتباه نکنید اگه یواش اون کار یک دو برو بری چیکار کردی تو رو وای وات از اپ آی نیور دان هیچ وقت اون اوبر اندازه تو 
Just I love you. I love you. 